Before I was a follower of Jesus, I was an insecure teenage girl searching for love in all the wrong places. I was that girl who was going to parties that was chasing popularity, that wanted a boy to love me and make me feel special. I ended up being in a relationship for two and a half years with a guy who I thought I was going to marry, but I found out that he cheated on me several times. This made me feel so insecure. My self-worth was shattered. I felt unlovable. I felt rejected. I felt abandoned. I even felt depressed. And it was at that time that I discovered a church in my neighborhood and I started going. And God showed up. One day I was at a church service and I felt his presence like never before. That night I prayed to Jesus. I asked him to forgive me for my sins, to forgive me for putting other people in front of him, for chasing love in the wrong places. And I realized that Jesus was all I needed, that he was the one that I was truly looking for. He reminded me that he was not a man that he would lie to me or abandon me or let me down, that he loved me and had a plan for my life and a purpose for my life and that I was worth something. Since following Jesus and surrendering to him, since that day I said that prayer and asked him to come live in my heart, he has changed my life. He gave me peace that passes understanding. He helped me realize what true joy is. It's not in my circumstances. It is in his presence. He helped me realize that my identity is not in my popularity, that my identity is in him. He helped me realize that he is a good God and that he loves me so much. And because I've surrendered to Jesus, I know that I have a I have a purpose in him. And sometimes I do still feel insecure and when those insecurities come, I'm reminded of a passage in the in the Bible that says my confidence is this that he who began a good work in me will bring it to completion to the day of Christ Jesus. That's found in Philippians chapter 1 verse 6. And I know that that means for me that my confidence is in the Lord and that he is not finished with me yet. That's my faith story. I would love to hear about your faith journey.